Hello Reading community, we hope that you had a great week. This week we have a few updates and also several student shout outs. So starting right in with updates, first updates comes from ARPA funds. Uh, as you likely know, uh, the town was designated $7.6 million in ARPA funds, which are intended to be uh, pandemic related response funds. Uh, we're thrilled that we've shared that the uh, select board recently voted to designate $2 million of these funds uh, towards the purchase of a new literacy curriculum K-5 to here in Reading. The ARPA committee has also requested that we share out a survey that asks for your feedback in the community of ways to spend and to designate the remaining ARPA funds uh, in line with some of the needs in our community. So you'll see a link to respond to the survey. So thanks in advance for filling out the ARPA survey for our community. Also, I was approached the other day by some students at RMHS who had a wonderful idea uh, to be able to support some of our community members in need. So here, I turn it over to uh, three of our RMHS students for them to describe their idea and their need in more detail. Hi, we are the RMHS Wings Initiative. I'm Sachin Patel, this is Leo Gostanian, and this is Nick Maz. And we're here to spread uh, a message about our organization that's here to serve our community. All right, so we realized that a lot of people in our community have the ability and they have the clothes, toys, and children's books to donate. They just might not have the time. So we want to create a space where you can uh, set up a pickup time and a pickup location and we'll do the rest for you. We'll come pick up from your house or wherever you want us to bring in a car, we'll bring it to a donation center and get it to the people who need it most. And in order to involve more community members in this, uh, we're going to bring this initiative as a club to RMHS next year in the fall. So next year we're looking for members, so if you'd like to join, just let us know in the fall. You can reach out to us through our Instagram page at rmhs underscore wings initiative or at our email rmhswings at gmail.com. Starting the first shout out goes to a Parker Middle School sixth grade student you'll see here on the screen, Curran Healy. So Curran, I am pleased to report that um, recently won the 2022 Boston Sports Museum Will McDonough Essay Writing Contest. And he won this for his essay titled The Flame of Sport Hunting. So Curran was honored with uh, an e-reader and also at a ceremony at the Boston Celtics vs. Indiana Pacers game earlier this spring. Uh, this is a contest that takes place every year. In 2022, there were over 1,000 entries from students across New England, uh, and the winners are chosen by the Boston Globe sports editors. Congratulations to Curran and for the other winners from Parker, who you'll see here uh, as well. The other winners are uh, in second place in sixth grade London, and sixth place honorable mention Ashley. Also an honorable mention uh, is, uh, in sixth grade is Maggie. And in eighth grade, second place went to Owen. Uh, so congratulations to all of our students. The Parker community is very proud. Also, we uh, we have a shout out for Kyle Briere. Kyle served as our superintendent for the day this past week. So Kyle's family won a charity raffle where uh, he had the opportunity to serve as superintendent for the day alongside two of his friends, uh, CJ and Lucas, who were the assistant superintendents for the day. Uh, Kyle was able to jump on Zoom meetings with me and talk about district vision, able to visit classrooms, uh, and also was able to uh, give some feedback to students in their advocacy writing. So a huge thank you to Kyle, he did a wonderful job. You'll see here a quick clip from Kyle uh, and his super assistant superintendents for the day. Hello, I am Kyle Briere and I'm the superintendent for the day. Hi, I'm CJ Morrow and I'm assistant superintendent. And I'm also the assistant superintendent for the day, Lucas Dorfman. Summer vacation is just 10 days away. We are excited to be heading to Parker Middle School in the fall. Don't forget your summer reading. We hope you all have a safe and happy summer. Bye. 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 Also, a special shout out to some of the staff members in uh, our RPS community. These are staff members who hit certain milestones for their employment and received recent awards and recognitions. We recognized all of these staff members at our school committee meeting last night. So first, we recognize all the staff who hit the 10-year, 20-year, and 30-year milestones. The staff members also who uh, received per a professional status. And lastly, you'll see here the names on the screen of the, uh, the staff members retiring from Reading Public Schools. These are Sharon, Patrice, Laura, Lisa, Patricia, Christine, Joanne, Joe, Kathleen, Sharon, Jane, and Denise. So a huge thank you to all of those staff members for their incredible service and dedication to the Reading Public Schools, all who have made such a tremendous impact on our students. We also recognize several staff members uh, with various awards and recognitions. Starting with the awards, you'll see the recipients here on the screen, uh, the Distinguished Teaching Award. So the Distinguished Teaching Award recognizes some of the teachers across our district who best embody what it means to be an RPS educator. 
So we appreciate all the staff, students, and families who took time to submit thoughtful nominations for so many RPS teachers. And this award was supported by the Dorothy and Arnold Berger Trust Fund as a community member left a, um, a monetary gift in his will to recognize exemplary teachers. So congratulations to Jamie, Christine, Ann, Tim, and Andrew for the very well-deserved recognition and for all you do for our RPS community. And the last award was given as a Distinguished Leadership Award. This award went to our Director of Nursing, Mary Juliana, for her tremendous leadership over the past couple of years and also this past year uh, during the pandemic. As we all know, Mary's steadying leadership has been instrumental in moving our school communities forward during these really challenging and complex times. So please join me in, in thanking, recognizing, congratulating all of those amazing educators uh, who are recognized um, uh, through these awards and milestones. We hope that you have a great weekend. We hope that everyone's ready for the home stretch. Go Rockets!